President Obama and House Speaker John Boehner taking shots at each other, but doing very little about the flood of unaccompanied minors across our border. And it's time now for our Sunday group, Kimberly Strassel of the Wall Street Journal, Ron Fournier from the National Journal, Michael Needham, head of Heritage Action for America, and Fox News political analyst Juan Williams. Well, House Republicans delayed their recess 24 hours, and, it, and maybe you don't know Washington, that's a big deal, uh, delaying their recess, uh, and ended up passing two bills that, as the president, I think, accurately said, are going to go nowhere. Kim, what's the point? What did House Republicans accomplish by passing these two bills, that the president called them message votes, that are not going to become law. Well, the irony here, Chris, is that no bill was going to reach the president's desk because the Democrats can't agree on an immigration proposal going forward. They didn't even pass a bill. They didn't even pass a bill either. So, so what you actually saw here, though, weirdly, though, was this kind of Republican act of self-masochism in that they had only one job this week, which was to pass a bill that would show their response to this uh, issue down at the border. Um, and. All they had to do was go put it out there, and instead they managed to completely, all the forces, the usual forces, Ted Cruz, Jeff Sessions came running down. They said that rather than this be a bill about the immediate issue down there, that it instead should be another fight with the president over his future immigration powers. They exposed all the wounds in the party, and the story as a result became the Republican Party melting down on the floor on Thursday and reminding the party yet again that until they can manage to get their head around this issue, it's going to dog them at Cruz times in politics. We, we ask you for questions for the panel and we got this on Facebook from Brenda. She writes, this is a crisis brought on by the president and a Congress and a Senate that can't get along to solve the problems we face. Why are the American people being ignored by our, and you can see in all caps, our leaders? Ron, I understand the gridlock over the big issue of immigration reform, but we're talking here about this very specific issue of the unaccompanied children coming from Central America. Everybody agreed on the problem. People basically agreed on the solutions. Why did nothing get done? Why, once again, did Washington take a big swing and whiff? Well, I think Brenda hit it right on the head. Look, if you're, if you're keeping score at home, Republicans, you're exactly right, had a disastrous week last week. Destructive for the party, destructive for the country. But you know what? Most Americans like Brenda aren't keeping score at home. All they see is a very dysfunctional system where both parties are only interested in appealing to their narrow bases, where all they care about is winning a little bit more than the other side, not, not fixing the real problems. And now we're in a position where even the president is going to come forward with these executive actions. And even if you agree, as I do, that these uh, 12 million people need to come out of the shadows, even if you agree with that, the idea that the president has taken the step unilaterally is, can't be good for the system. It's going to further polarize the red from the blue. And we're going to have a, a president who was elected because he talked about there is no red America, there is no blue America, is now going to be the president of blue America. We uh, discussed the immigration crisis last week, and I have to say, as I predicted, we got a lot of reaction to George Will and his idea about how to deal with these tens of thousands of unaccompanied minors crossing the border. Take a look. My view is that uh, we ought to say to these children, welcome to America, you're going to go to school and get a job and become Americans. We have 3,141 counties in this country. That'd be 20 per county. The idea that we can't assimilate these eight-year-old criminals with their teddy bears is preposterous. Michael Needham. Is that the right response to this crisis? Welcome to America? Well, look, I think George's heart was in the right place. His heart is where all of our heart is. He just got the policy wrong. The most compassionate thing we can do as a nation is say the way for a child to come to America is legally holding the hand of a parent. Unfortunately, the president's policy does the exact opposite thing. It's why the number of unaccompanied minors has gone from 6,000 people in 2011 to 90,000 people this year, 150,000 people next year. But I'm not sure why we're all... I'm so down on what Washington did this past week. The, the House Republicans passed two bills. Both of them had over 95% of Republicans supporting it. Um, that did two things. They said, let's look at the cause of the problem, and that's the president's total lawlessness with regards to our immigration laws, and let's look at some solutions. And so I think the only people um, who are really attacking themselves within the Republican Party seem to be Kim and, and this panel right now. The Republican Party did the right thing. Kim? 
<laughs> Equal time. Look, the Republican Party, again, they've been down there for two weeks, three weeks, saying the biggest crisis is to deal something up with this issue down at the border. And instead, they had to go through, again, another act of self-immolation <laughs> over yeah, immigration the, the instead of just States. putting forward. And no, look, they've got their, their prospects are very good for this fall. But one of the key questions that is going to be asked is whether or not they can govern. And in and, and a moment like this down there, which exposing all of the wounds and again, the fact that the party can't get this is just not good for The enough. Republican Party did a good job of governing here. The President of the United States laid a they trap. He, he, he laid a trap, which is exactly what he did. He tried to blame other people for his problems. The reason that we have a crisis on the border right now is not a law passed by President Bush in 2008. It's not that there's enough money. It's that the President of the United States put up the beacon of amnesty. No, he did not. A couple, he, yeah, of course he did. Happening is a lot ago with his these, these, these kids, and the these kids are fleeing, Look, are fleeing, wait, wait, are fleeing time, these kids are fleeing, fleeing gangs and criminality. Their lives are in danger. That's what created the so, situation. So that didn't exist now, two that, years ago. That, no. Not to this degree, no, sir. Now, that does not mean that we completely open up the border, but George Will was actually right on the policy. Let's, these kids that are here, this country's got to bring them in. But let's work together, two parties, to find a way that we don't have more kids coming in. Your party didn't, didn't work on that this well, week. Your party I, tried to I never, I never thought I would say this, but one, come on, speak up. Get into the conversation. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I just think it was a rough week for the Republican Party. I understand Michael's point. I mean, you want to say that the Republicans did something. Uh, and I think it speaks to the base in terms of the base being unalterably opposed to anything that might be construed as amnesty. But, you know, there is a crisis, as Ron said, that is a unique crisis. This is a part, as in just the way that you laid it out, this is a part from comprehensive immigration reform. There's a specific, immediate urgency with regard to these children. And to say, oh, they should be coming holding a, a parent's hand, well, ideally, but not when they're running away from people who are shooting at them in the most dangerous place in the world. And so we understand refugee crises in terms of our immigration system. So I think at the moment, the question is now going forward, what does the president do? And I was stunned this week. We talk about the Republican, you know, problems and infighting. Republicans who are so angry at the president said, oh, maybe the president should handle this. That's what the Republican leadership said. So they've invited him now, post Labor Day, post his political agenda, with conservative Democrats who worry that any action he takes could affect them adversely, he's going to do something with regard to stopping deportations and appealing to the Hispanic community, and that's going to hurt Republicans even more. I, I want to pick up on precisely that point in the time we have left, Michael, because as I discussed with, with Senator Rubio, the Republican playbook, the postmortem they wrote after 2012 and Mitt Romney lost by 44 points to Barack Obama was we've got to reach out to Hispanics. Isn't the, the sum total, not only of this week, but really of everything over the last year and a half, exactly the opposite? Well, I don't rely on the same political consultants who have run every single Republican presidential campaign since 1992 to tell me the solutions that are best for the party. What's best for the party is to focus on the issues that people care about. How do I get affordable housing? How do I get uh, a situation where I can educate my child? What do I do about gas prices? Those are issues that all Americans, whether they be Hispanic or otherwise, care about, and the Republican Party needs to have solutions for The fastest growing voting bloc in this country thinks the Republican Party hates them. This party, your party, cannot be the party of the future beyond November if you're seen as the party of white people. If, right if, now you think that the, if you think that the only thing that Hispanic Americans care about is amnesty, the polling it's, wouldn't it's, it's go not the only thing, but, but, not true. but because the of the way your party's handled, yeah, that's how you're perceived. Ahead, I'm sorry. No, the real problem with this week, though, is that they diverted attention from the very things that you are talking about. They actually had a bill policy-wise pretty good, but because of the spectacle of not being able to pass it, they put focus on himself, which is what the president wants. The president's playing politics with this as well, too. Look, the president came out this week and said he would veto this Republican bill because it changed a 2008 law. The 2008 law, this is the same president who a month ago asked it's Congress true. to change the 2008 law. He doesn't want them to pass anything because he wants the issue to be Republican division. And that's why this week was tough. And to follow up on that, the president listen. had a chance to have immigration reform in 2010. In 2009, his party passed on it. They wanted the issue. All right. We have to take a break here. We're going to see you back later in the program. We'll continue this conversation.